Hello everybody and welcome to part two of our home studio recording series taking a brief look inside Pro Tools 8 and some M Audio hardware for those of you who have a project studio and are just looking for something to do some simple recordings. So if you missed part one in our last webisode we looked at the process of recording a full band and you can use some M Audio hardware such as the ProFire Lightbridge to record a whole bunch of inputs all at once as long as they're coming to you already pre-amplified, uh, say through a digital soundboard or something like that. That's what we did. And now today we're gonna do step two in the process, the typical process that I go through at least for creating a track. And that is overdubbing, finding some parts that need to be polished up a little bit and working on them. And then in part three, we're gonna look at the individual EQs, the, the compression, the limiting, all that stuff to make it just sound right. Gonna automate the mix and everything. There goes the light. That's a good sign. <laughs> All right, let's get started. All right, so this is the new MacBook Pro aluminum unibody. And I maxed out all the specs on it with the 7200 RPM hard drive and the max memory and everything. When you open Pro Tools 8, you'll notice it has a new quick start menu, which is a lot more user friendly than the previous versions of Pro Tools, where you can create a blank session, create a session from a template. Or, as we're going to do, open a recent session. This is what we saved on Sunday when we re recorded the full band. All your tracks come in here using our neat little two-finger scrolling method. We just go down through and see where they are. Uh, over here is your transport window, which looks about the same as previous versions. And, of course, your mix window, which we looked at a little bit last time. Now you can see we've got a lot of parts going on here. I could use a little more bass, a little bit more keys. Now here comes a mistake on the keys, right there. So that's something we're going to have to fix. And also we're going to try to make that bridge a little different by adding in an instrument track, a MIDI control track, which is really cool in Pro Tools 8. So let me do that first. I'm going to use this Korg Control 49, which I've got plugged in through a USB cord, and basically it's just as easy as going to Track, New, and then choosing Instrument Track. We'll create that track and drag it right where I want it, right there. You can see where it showed up. It's as simple as dropping down the insert. We'll plug in the instruments, and I'll use Hybrid. And that is a very nice synth that comes, well, it doesn't come with Pro Tools 8, but I think you can get it for free if you uh, register or do something kooky like that. Uh, this is what it looks like, and I'm just going to go pick a preset because we don't want to get into all these advanced controls right now. So I'm just going to pick soft leads, and I'm going to pick talking phrase lead. Now, as simple as that, We've got the keys making some really awesome sounds that are fully editable uh, with the MIDI data. So I'm going to find the appropriate places in the song and just record that. Over here on the Project Mix I.O., this is the new instrument track we created. I'm just going to hit the uh, record button right there. Make sure it's turned up nice and loud so I can hear myself. And over down a little bit, sorry about the camera work, we'll hit record and play. Looking back at the MacBook Pro screen, you can see what was created. Unlike the other tracks, which can contain waveform data, that is actually MIDI data right there. And I really like that sound. I'm not sure if it's particularly right for the song, but I like it, so we're going with it. All right, now I'm going to repeat that process just for the bridge. I've selected a new instrument track. I've inserted the hybrid plug-in, and I've chosen a, a pad sound. Okay, now once again, we're going to just up that, labeled Instrument 2, record, enable it, hit record, play. Okay, next thing to do, I've now plugged in my Phantom XA with those instrument cables you see strung across my office into the back of the Project Mix I.O. 
So in this case, we're not using it as a control surface anymore, just as an input. We've got it in mic or line level, selected to line, and the uh, gain selected just about midways up. A few other things to note before I run over to the keyboard. I've moved the playhead back from our selected area, so it's going to give me a little bit of pre-roll to run over to the keyboard. I've also, if we command equals over here, I've muted that track, uh, the one I'm recording on, because it's already coming out. If you look in the M Audio control panel, you're going to see that the input coming in, analog one, two, is already set to come out the monitors and headphones. So that means I don't want to hear it twice, I don't want to hear it live, and then also hear it coming into Pro Tools and back out. So this gives me a, a low latency way of monitoring just by muting it there. And I think we're ready. Let's do uh, F12 and I'll run to the keyboard. Fits right in, not too much, not too little. All right, it's a little bit louder than the surrounding part. We can adjust that. We can also crossfade this just like that to make it blend more smoothly back in. So that takes care of virtual instruments and real instrument overdubbing. Okay, the last thing to demonstrate real quick is a vocal overdub. We've added a new track, titled it Overdub. We're gonna change the input again to number one because I've plugged the mic into number one. Again, we've muted it. Got a good level set, and we'll just select the region and start recording. Clearly can I feel the depth of our fall and the weight of it all. Okay, and there's what we recorded. That was the U87 mic, by the way. And uh, I actually recorded it on a different track called Overdub, so we could mix it in and out. Um, so we'll look at that. So right there is Overdub. Right there is the original vocal. We got the original vocal down. Heaven cries, holy, holy God. You are holy, holy, holy. I want to be holy like you. All right, so there you go, everybody. That was a brief look at the overdubbing process. First, we created a track for an instrument. Then we used the MIDI keyboard here to make some very cool sounds. Love that about Pro Tools 8. It uh, is so easy to use. You just plug in the keyboard, create your track, and go. And of course, the uh, possibilities for expansion are limitless almost, and the keyboards are very cheap, very lightweight, um, and it's very editable, so a great thing. We also looked at overdubbing a real instrument, and then we looked at overdubbing a vocal, all made possible by the Project Mix I.O. Great input, great command surface. And in the next webisode, we're gonna look at the process of mixing and mastering, which will show off even more of this board's creative possibilities and capabilities. Thanks for watching, keep those comments coming and I'll be sure to help you along if you have any questions about this.